one just for those who haven't met or been here because we've got a few new people on and we've got a couple of visitors. Paula and Brian and Dale. Dale are from NIDAC um, who look after all the pretty well most of the access control we do. Um, so uh, they've been doing it for a long, long time and have their own systems, but still obviously can integrate with all the other formats around the market. So uh, they're going to talk about a couple of new products coming through and some obviously current products that they, uh, they do very, very well with. So uh, I'll leave it to them to fill you in. Thank you. Can I give it a couple? Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Um, can I just see, is everyone here a Radio Parts no. employee? We've got a couple of customers. Of the, fantastic, okay. fantastic, yeah. excellent. Yeah. So my name's Paula. Um, I'm a Director of Sales and Marketing at NIDAC. Um, we are a family-owned business. We've been around for 55 years. We design and manufacture in Australia. 97% of what we do is in Australia. Um, this year is our 55th anniversary, which is um, quite a milestone. We've been supplying through radio parts for about 50 years, roughly. So it's a long-standing business relationship. Um, and this, to coincide with the 55-year anniversary, we've increased our warranty on all of our products from three years to five years, and that's starting now. So whatever stock you've got in the building most likely is already covered by it. Uh, and again, as part of the 55 year, we're refreshing the brand and the look of the business. So we were formerly known as NIDAC Security, which is what a lot of you guys might know us as. We're now NIDAC. Um, and a new logo and then making a a clear distinction with our brands going forward. So NIDAC is the design and manufacturing company. Um, and I'll just be the slide person. So breaking our product ranges um, in clearly defined brands. Presco is the domestic and small commercial access control that you guys um, should know a fair bit about. I think you've been selling it now for uh, well, it's been available for 25 years uh, and we just keep refreshing and introducing new features to the product range. Forge is more of an industrial sort of brand for the uh, GSM dialers, relays, timers. And Prescient is a new brand uh, that is coming out uh, yeah, probably, I'd say, two to three months. We're looking at at least it's being road tested. Uh, um, beta tested now, and that is a large-scale IP networked access control system. Um, so I'm going to hand you over to Brian to go through the product range and to answer all your tech questions. This slide is just simple, sort of an introduction, really, of what um, what products. Uh, what our products do and where we, how we, we do them, how we test them. So e every product is factory tested, computer tested. So once it leaves our, our building, uh, it should work uh, straight off. And uh, if there is any pro issues, it's usually wiring issue or it's been incorrectly uh, put in. So it's very, uh, and all our products have a, a date on, on our product as well. And uh, it's, uh, so it's very, very stringent testing that we do. And um, it, when it, as I said, when it leaves us, it is um, 100%. Okay. Uh, firstly, this is a heart of our Presco systems, so the PAC-1, PAC-2, and P PL. Uh, PAC-1, as it indicates, is a, a single door. Pack, door, pack 2 is a, a double door um, uh, com, uh, controller. Uh, there, we're up to series 3 now. Uh, we've gone series, we've gone pack, we've gone series 1, series 2, now we're series 3. Every time we do a, an upgrade, we add more features or more accessible features and usable features and, and simplicity, which we've made in these controllers in the Series 3, so very, very easy 
to program. Uh, very simple to program. I can't emphasise emphasize that enough. Uh, the standard features that we've had in the, in the other ones was the door, door open too long. It has um, a security built in that if anybody uh, holds the door open too long, there is a, a time you can program in. There is a set time of built in anyway. It will buzz and indicate, yeah, the door is left open or that's been jimmied open. Likewise, if somebody tried to get in without putting in a valid code, uh, you also got, got an indicator that somebody is trying to break in. So it's, um, it's uh, two uh, systems we've got in place there. Uh, the PAC-1 the pack has six, up to 600 users. PAC-2, up to 800 users. Uh, what that means is that there's locations uh, up to 600 and against the locations, you put your own code in, your own access code to, uh, to operate it. And um, uh, that's, the difference is purely that, that it's 600 against 800. Uh, it's important product is the PAL, particular if it's a large installation, like you might have the amount of people re that ring us and say, look, somebody's left our, build, our uh, organisation, we don't know where they are, who they are in the system. Um, we say, how many people, and they say, oh, 80 or something like that, and you've got no idea. It's very hard to identify that if they haven't kept manual records. This is a logger which will do that. So it gets connected into the, the PAC1, PAC2, uh, and it will log, log uh, what, the software is free, you just download the software, and it's all free. You put in a, start with 001, and going through it, and put in a, a user code against that, and a name. So you've got a name, a code, and a location. And uh, then, from that, you can actually set it up. So you can set up the operating times. You can normally open and normally close. Um, if it's a FOB you're doing, look at one of these, you just enter the code number on that, and that's entered in where, if you do it manually, you can just badge it, and it, 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 it programs it in. I'll get to that in a minute anyway. So we'll go to the next slide. So that, that's a typical setup there where we use them. Um, very, very easy to keep records, uh, just connected by a, a USB, and uh, up to 16 doors. So you've, you, have, you can have eight pack twos and combination. Uh, it's still maximum of 800 users, even though you're using the extra uh, controllers, that's still a maximum of 800. Um, and it's simple as that to connect up, and the, the software is very good. All our, all our controllers, all our products have uh, two manuals. There's a user manual and a user manual. User manual gives them access to uh, put in new cards if you want. The install installation manual is the wiring, obviously, and the, all the setups and that times for the locks and stuff like that. So, and it is written here. It is good English. We've made it easier, so we don't have good. We don't have a lot of tech support because it is very simple to uh, operate and the programming has been simplified. I'll get to that on the next slide. So basically we have three plastic keypads, uh, PSK, PSC and PSR. The PSK can work on two wires. Uh, three, three wires is, is its optimum. If you do two wires you won't get the, the visual indicator. Uh, they can run up to a kilometre on any wire, any wire at all. It can be, can be uh, Cat 6, Cat 5, um, security, it doesn't have to be shielded, 2 wire, figure 8, anything at all. Um, it's, a, it's something that we developed years ago, I don't quite know, it was well before my time, and nobody else has been able to do it as well as we do on the, on the cabling and the distance. Uh, Wigand, you, you probably all know, Wigand is an industri industry standard. Uh, we'll go to 100 metres max, uh, and it has to be shielded cable, and more, you use more wires. So we've, we've, we've got something over everybody on this, which, is a, which I think is a very credit to us and our development years ago that was done, and uh, nobody else has been able to match it. So, 
on the uh, PSK, it's Presco format only. On the next two, it's uh, Presco and Wigand. Uh, to do programming without the PAL, you have to have a keypad in the system somewhere. So if you've got the combo, you can do it. If you've got the, uh, the uh, indoor one, the reader only, you need a keypad. After you've done the programming, just connect it if you want, take it away if you don't need to. If they want to add more people in, you will need it back in there. So all these are we call indoor. Uh, they can be used outdoor under a canopy. We actually haven't had a water issue on any of them uh, as, as for the time we, we introduced them. Uh, so they, they're very resilient anyway, but we, we emphasise that they are indoor and out of, out of weather. We are, in some of our uh, upgrades, we are looking to make these waterproof. So we, we, there's a membrane that's got to be put in. There's a fair bit of change that needs to be done to make them IP67. Okay. So on these, they change colour. When, the, when that's activated, when you put in the valid code, it goes from uh, usually red to green or red to blue. And uh, as long as the lock is active, if it's 10 seconds, it'll stay that colour and then go back to the previous colour. Okay. With the, uh, with the reader, which is uh, this fellow here, it's been around a long time, you, you can't get a, a real idea of what size it is. It's quite a small reader. Uh, there again, you need your keypad for, for programming. Uh, it's uh, Wigand and Presco. One thing I, I must point out, these, these have got what they call, uh, new keypads have got enhanced Wigand, uh, which means that we, we've always had Wigand, but we've had it sort of to our specifications, if you like. In the last few, few years, there has been an industry standard on Wigand which is slightly outside of our range. So we've, we're currently um, manufacturing, there's no extra cost, uh, enhanced Wigand and all our products will become that as they go. So it's compatible to every Wigand that's on the market. Okay? So if you use our, a keypad with a TCOM or something like that, they will have a slightly different Wigand um, frequency than ours, but not anymore. So it just makes, it, just makes our products a bit more compatible with everything in the market. These are the little subtle things that we're, we're doing and we're aware of all the time. So, so yeah, this one's indoor-outdoor. Uh, changes colour when it's, when it's got a, a valid code. It'll go from uh, red to uh, green and then go back to red once the code is finished. Okay. Uh, with the this is a it's a it's a newer range a newer product to our range. Uh, all our other products, uh, all the plastics, all the everything, all the casing, everything, is also sourced locally. All the boards and that we we obviously do the design work and and everything else on it, but they they are all made locally. Uh, all the plastics. Uh, this is one that, that's slightly different to the rule. It's been uh, brought in with pre-coded for our, as our product and it's a Wigan and uh, Presco product. It has the red indicator and goes green on a valid code. Uh, the only, the downside on this, we brought this in because aesthetically modern houses, it's very, well we think it's very attractive for that. It's surface mount, but it's a capacitive touch. So it means there's no, there's no, the buttons don't stand up, so you can't, if you've got really direct sunlight on it, you'd have trouble because it'll be hard to see what the, what the buttons are because you've, you've got no, no feel to them, okay? So we, we may change that in the future. Um, well, we probably will actually. So it's weekend Presco again. Um, does all the, the distance that I've told you about, compatible to, all, all our products are compatible from years gone by to now. Uh, so keypad will work with the old packs, the old packs will work with the new keypads. So anybody comes in, uh, it's got a, uh, a keypad they want replaced, um, you just got to determine whether it's plastic or metal, and there's no programming involved uh, if you replace it, because all the all the, uh, all the codes are kept on these things and they're inside the house, okay? Uh, okay. We, we do say that these are 
extra security in the, in the two-part system. Do people realise what that means as a two-part system? Leon does. Because uh, what would happen uh, on this, if anybody tried to damage this outside the, the premises to get in after hours or whatever, uh, on a stand alone, all of them, you can put two wires together and you've got 12 volts. On these ones, because they're two parts, everything is wired into that, the, the, the voltage, the power supply gets connected to that, and it's only data between there and there. So there is no voltage. <coughs> so it cannot be uh, accessed, it cannot put two wires together and get in. So anybody who tries to break in, they're stuffed. Okay? All right. Uh, then we do a range of um, tags and uh, keys, as you can see. We, we call this one heavy duty because it's flat and it's uh, very it can sat on, it's pretty, pretty resilient. Uh, normal key, key ring, which is the, the round one, and the flat uh, tag or card, I should say. With these ones, they're, they're, we bring them in, we get them programmed overseas, uh, Presco and Wigan formats on all of them. Also, we can program up cards because they're all random. And you'll never have two cards of the same. It's, we've been doing it for donkey's years and we've never had a duplication. So they're all random. They put in stars and hashes and God knows what to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. So we, we can program cards in like a business might want to keep manual records and they want to, they want to, uh, they want to keep tabs themselves. Well, we can program cards for minimal amount extra uh, say one to a hundred, whatever, so they can, they can, they've got a, a consistent number range. And when we do the programming, we put in a Wigant and a Presco all the time. So it's all done by, by a, a computer. Um, that's, that's your, um, uh, where you'd use them. I don't know whether we've got a slide on this one. Do we have it? Do we have it? At the top, okay. Yeah. So in the last couple of years, we brought in uh, the uh, rubber. Uh, ones of uh, the band, so one's, is a, one's a wristwatch type and one is a, um, a wristband. So where these come in handy is particularly they're waterproof, so if it's in a nursing home or something, the, the client could shout, never take it off, and they could monitor them, monitor them all the time if they want. Um, and also the, the nurse or whatever wears it, she wants to go between doors and they're going through lots of security doors and let's face it, nursing homes have become very, very uh, secure these days and it's more and more individual doors will be monitored so they can just badge and they can have books or whatever they can be holding the person and they can just badge in so it's very 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 good product to uh, to consider okay we come to our metal keypads that's uh, these two at the bottom here these um, work back to the controller uh, backlit uh, or if you don't want backlit you just leave a wire off and it, uh, it's not backlit. Um, audio visual indicators like all our keypads you've got the two colours red and the uh, and the green. Uh, we have taken particular care or, or, or time to make sure these are coded, double coded, that they will work everywhere. Uh, down the, the sea, sea air is a killer on these things, rust, and strips them in years very quickly. These ones, uh, I don't think in the, since we've taken all this care, we've had a, an issue. Uh, New Zealand, you can talk about it. So not New Zealand, we have a, a saline mist test on, on the metalwork, so they're suitable for those sort of areas. Yeah, in Rotorua right where they have the, the mine, uh, the sulphur, because sulfur, yeah. uh, we did have initially that was going to be an issue. But we've we've uh, solved that in the last quite a, quite a number of years now. So yeah, so that'll do your, your distance again, uh, your rating, your water rating, back lead if you want, uh, audio visual, and you've got the six by two or five by four by three uh, surface mount. Um, they just bolt bolt. You take the back panel off, bolt it on, and um, the unit is very very good as far as. Um, um, security, it's um, very rugged, it can be very very hard to damage, the only part would damage if you tried to damage it would be how you bolted it to the brick wall or the wall. 
that's just a just a typical wiring, if you like. As you can see on our control on our controller and on the keypad, when it's a um, Wigan Presco, you've got extra wires uh, to do with your uh, Wigan, which uh, would get connected. But Presco needs four wires, so your, your power, uh, red and black, white and blue, and that's all. And and uh, you can power your locks through the uh, through the uh, controller as well, uh, just by putting a link between the AC/DC, the top ELC, the bottom ELC through the lock and back to ground, and you've got your power to your to your um, uh, lock. This is just some of the um, applications. Okay, um, the last few years we've, we've introduced, try to make it a little bit easier, particularly, say, from radio parts guys, to sell a product if you stock this. We, well, lovely, um, and there's a, there's a slight cost saving in this sort of product. So that's, that's the indoor-outdoor one. And then we just do the one with the plastic keypad. So pack two, pack one, we've covered pretty much everything. I think there's nine... Uh, variances and uh, everything is covered on that. So just just pick it up and you've got you've got it ready to go. That's all you need. Uh, then we come to the uh, standalones. Standalone have been uh, uh, double coated like like the other VR. These are VST. The other ones are uh, VR series. Uh, these are purely standalone. Um, like all standalone keypads, they, they suffer from anybody that knocked it off the wall and really tried to vandal it. Two wires and you've got 12 volts and the door will open. We've gone a little bit more uh, to securing uh, this type of product with um, optical. Okay, the, most of the others use an optical sensor, so if it's knocked off the wall, a buzzer will sound. But of course the buzzer is at the gate or you, you wouldn't hear it. So it may, it may deter somebody, but with ours you can run a wire back to the house, have a little piezo at the house, and it will, it will, ring, it will buzz in the house, so somebody's tampering with the front door or whatever. So that's about the most you can do with standalones. You've got four by three, six by two, a slightly as design difference you could, you'd see there. So the design difference, just indicates you know, whether it's standalone or whether it's not. So for us to recognise it, if, if somebody, you know, some people say, I've got this keypad, what is it? So we, we can recognise it by a slight design change. The other thing, you've, you've got um, three level user codes, uh, 500 users. The three level codes, you've got a master code, sort of semi-master and another code. So if it was in a, a, a preschool or something like that, the owner would have the master code. And then they might have cleaners come in, they'd have a subcode, and then there's another code for parents that come every day and badge in. As soon as the, um, the master code is put in at night time, if the, when the owner's gone, it locks all the others out. So uh, it, it's security there. So um, we've, we've taken a lot of care in doing that, and uh, that works well. Uh, now these are our non-access control, which we've change the name now to Forge, where the product you've been buying has been Presco, but we're, we're putting Presco to the back and keeping and Forge to the front. So this is, this is where this product can be used. Uh, it's for changing codes. There's so many, Wigand is one form of um, coding, but there's, um, there's, there's heaps of others out there. Uh, so, it will do all conversions to all types of, um, of uh, systems out there. And um, people have used these in, uh, in, the, in the, um, uh, lifts. Uh, particularly, we've had a lot of cases where Wigand, if they're using a Wigand product in a lift, uh, it, it can create a lot of noise. So they've used the PIM to convert the Wigand to Presco in the lift and then use another PIM at the other end to convert it back to Wigand and uh, problem solved. 
because our Presco system does not suffer from anything like that. It's such, it's such a good system. That, that's a flow chart uh, we have just to make it easier how everything sort of goes together and what goes with what. So it's just a very simple, but it can be useful. You look up and you see, oh yeah, that will work with that and that works with that. And as I said, the, the packs are the heart of our system and all the other, all the other, system, all the other parts get wired into it and then... We also, we, uh, these, these are an import product we've been doing for maybe 20 years now. Uh, electric strikes and mag locks uh, in GEM. GEM is an international brand uh, made in Taiwan uh, of the highest quality. And uh, we absolutely have no issues with them at all uh, with their quality because it's a very, very good product. Uh, we do the uh, mag lock. We do the, um, the, the gate lock. Uh, which is an uh, outside uh, unit for lock gates, and then we do the internal uh, mag locks as well. And the strikes, uh, they're all, you can have monitored, non-monitored. Uh, there's, there's about three or four different uh, strikes we have, and in the mag locks we, we cover everything. There's double mag locks, singles, uh, 600 pound, 1200 pound, 300 pound. Uh, so it's a very comprehensive range and ultra competitive as well. That's our Fords, that's our new logo. Now we come to the timers. Uh, timers, uh, they're not a 24-7 timer, they're an extender, so if somebody's got a maybe alarm at a, at a, uh, a door or a gate, they can, uh, the person in, in the house can let them in, so yeah, we'll let you in, and they can put a, you can put a time between uh, Coming into that gate to the next door or next gate they need to go through, you can delay the time. You can have an instant um, up to 10 minutes. So uh, they're all done by dip, dip switches. So you do your, your dip switching uh, timing. And that's some of the applications down the bottom there. So time, time door, hold door open. So you can hold it open and then lock it. Uh, so um, uh, it's, um, it's got a, quite a lot of functions there. Uh, then we, we come to the, uh, the relays. Uh, we do a single relay board and we do a six relay board. Uh, the, the six relay board has a common earth, common ground, uh, which you just snap them off as you need them. So uh, you don't have to put a link between the boards. So they're all they're common on that. Uh, high, high rated um, relay, it's a very high quality one. Uh, it's uh, two, pole, two, uh, two poles, two throws, normally open, normally closed, lead indicator, uh, 12, 24 volt. So um, it's sort of, it's, that's one of the uses. We've just got a case study where they're using the CT1 on uh, Puffing Billy. And they sent us the trial. Did they? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Over the years we've, we've sold heaps of those. Uh, then we come to our dialers. Um, this is these dialers are reasonably new uh, in our range. We we started off with three G. Now we're up to four G, and they're backward compatible to three. But um, if you've got a three G and our the three three G network ceases, uh, you will need to um, update it on that. So there's two two versions. There's the um, one that needs a power supply. And uh, we've got the, the one that's it's got the bigger housing. It takes a battery, battery backup and it's got the, the power supply board in there. Uh, with all of them, you get the um, software. It's a software. It can be downloaded from our website or you can use this. And it's uh, very easy programming. Eight inputs, two outputs. So on the, in, on the input side, uh, you, you set up a message, either a phone message or a SMS message or both. Multiple phone numbers, it'll ring the first number and ring it three times and then go to the next person. It must be kissed off. Uh, and um, that's really the programming procedure. That's all you've got to worry about, really. And, uh, and just tell it what, what inputs it's um, 
when you set it up, you just make sure you, you got the right input against the message. And it's self-explanatory there as far as how many numbers per, year, per input, which is considerable. I don't know if anybody use that or not, but they are there. Uh, 1224 volt, and that's the applications. We have sold heaps of those to, you know, like Western Australia, they use them in the BHP in the mines for monitoring levels, um, um, oxygen levels, um, carbon, whatever, and uh, they've bought massive amount of these, and also in Queensland they've done a lot as well. And also all refrigeration companies are really looking to these because they're a commercial product, and uh, particularly with the coronavirus now, the vaccine, uh, all if the doctor, all the doctors take it on, they'll all have to have fridges, which need monitoring, and that could be a, another another avenue for this product. That's just some of the simplified wiring that um, you, you get with the uh, with the manuals. The, that's with the installer manual. So that's that's how easy it is. The PSK, which is a simple Presco only, that's just uh, shows you your three wires, and uh, uh, and then the other ones uh, has the four wires. Just some more wiring. Um, designs. With the egress, I'll just go back to that, just go back to that one. With the, with the egress, uh, ELC there, uh, sorry, the egress, uh, EGRS, e e uh, that is timed to the lock. So the lock out of the box or in the programming is 10 seconds for, uh, for a, for a uh, strike. Uh, the egress works the same way, so close the contact or open a contact, doesn't matter, you can change it. Um, that works the same way. You can also make that uh, remote control. So if you put a, a, re, a re receiver in there and a transmitter, you guys probably sell something like that. You can wire it into the egress and uh, make it remote so they come to the, the gate or the front door, they can have a, a, a remote control button uh, and use it remotely. Okay. So that's that's that, that's about that's it in a nutshell. Is there any questions on any of the products there we've covered? I should have one on the auto dialer <coughs> GSM. Um, if it reaches the end of the set without getting a response, does it yeah. restart the cycle again? It keeps going around until it's kissed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's got to be kissed off. You got to you got to message up to fifteen seconds put in and then you can have it just one ring go to the next or three rings is the, is the default and it's multiples so even if they act on it and have done nothing it'll just keep ringing or keep keep sending messages so it's important that it gets kissed off on that um, that that's sort of an overview of our products as I said we we are endeavoring endeavoring to up, upgrade and uh, and uh, maybe you know there's options like Bluetooth IP all this is out there. We realise uh, competition products from overseas are doing all this type of thing. Uh, we're, we're well and truly aware of that and we're endeavouring to uh, do this in the future. But we're, we're a fairly small company and we, our R&Ds <coughs> takes, takes a while for these things to happen. But it will happen and uh, we're more than aware of it. So, uh, But anybody wants to come up and have a look, I can show then programming procedures, how easy and simple it is against anything else that's on the market. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll go through any questions you've got on anything. I yeah. just want to make sure I'm wrong, but, um, from our point of view, because we sell iPhone GT apartment stations, and yep. that, you do a, a reader that can go around to the yep. GT. Yeah, on, on the iPhone, we, do a, we, we made up a, a plate which suits this reader here, and it clips into the iPhone, the, the spare uh, blank, blank plate or what it is, yeah, yeah. In the GF, yeah, yeah, months, yeah. GF3, GF. yeah, yeah, we've done that, and uh, that w you say so you wire that with the with the pack controller and um, and set up your codes, and yeah, it works with the iPhone, fine, very simple, very simple. 
So that, that's available, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I think I've covered everything. Have you, nobody else got anything? You all, yeah, it's an overview of everything we do. And uh, anything at all, if, you've, um, if you need a help with programming or, um, or quoting, or uh, if you tell us what the job is and what's needed, we'll, we'll help you there. Uh, for the people that are using the product, if you have any issues setting it up or anything like that, feel free to your Radio Parts customer, but you can ring us and um, we will help you through any issues at all, okay? We're more than happy to do that because we're the manufacturer, the, the buck stops with us. So we, we will uh, hopefully solve any issues. Uh, fortunately, we don't have many issues. The product is very reliable. We've put, we put the five-year warranty on there simply because we don't have issues. They've been absolutely reliable. All right, I think, I think that concludes it. And anybody wants to come up and that, I can show them some, some easy programming or any, any queries at all, just come and see me. Thanks,